Hello, everybody. Happy New Year to you. I hope everyone had a splendiferous New Year's Eve last night. I hope you didn't get woken up too often by the fireworks. And you know what? If you were the person setting out the fireworks, I forgive you. Today, we are continuing uh, Mission Ent Possible. This is the stream and video series where I do a bit of leveling just using the missions system here in the Lord of the Rings Online with the added twist that, uh, you know, this is the Treebeard server. And if you didn't know, Treebeard is a legendary server where we take a 60% pay cut. We're only earning 40% of our uh, XP from crafting kills and quests. Full disclosure, I am using Dareth Stone, which gives me 25% on monster kills. So I can't really, you know, really run the numbers on that. I don't know. Well, we'll get the team at the lab to sort that one out. Um, but I don't know if that means I'm making 65% of normal or what. In any case, uh, since last time I saw you guys, we were doing the Akakaka missions in Erebor. And there are 10 of those. There's a, a, a deed and an associated weekly class with that, which I finished. And so we have decided, I've decided that we're going to crack on here and try out uh, some of the missions here in Elder Slade. Elder Slade and the War of Three Peaks was the original mission spot. That's when these were introduced uh, last year. Was it last year? I think it was last year. And the, these are quite different because if you do Wildwood, if you do Erebor like I was doing before, and even uh, the Bilbo Baggins Further Adventures, there's a static number of these. They go in order. Um... Whereas with these three, and I'd say with Gundabad, I haven't really touched the Gundabad missions yet, but um, with these, they're rotating. So there's different ones each day. There's big, huge numbers of them. Um, I think they wanted to give a big, you know, shot of content when they first unleashed um, the missions last year. So that's what we're going to try here. Um, as you can see, I have got 10 from Erebor contributing to the weekly meta deed which gives you moats you can spend the moats then and and uh, virtue xp you can spend the moats on um gear so we're just really digging in and trying to see how this mission thing works all the while trying to squeeze in you know all the work <laughs> i'm doing on my main character uh in preparation for moria being dropped next week on the treebeard server the good thing about treebeard though is that we can kind of drag it out so word on the street is that we're going to get six months uh for treebeard or for moria on treebeard so that'll give me plenty of time to wrap that up because there's a lot less content uh than shadows of angmar which means hopefully i'll have time to get back to this in addition to trying to stay uh up to speed on my my main on the Landraval server and finishing good to bad but you know what? it's all in good fun i've been on holiday so I've been able to get a lot done in addition to playing lots of other fun games. It is a ruddy, if you can't tell from my, my ruddy complexion, it's, uh, it's a bit balmy here for New Year's Day. Uh, what, who am I joking? This weather is, is terrible. Uh, it's good for running, though, and so that's what I did. I just went out and got a little run. A little sluggish, though. I don't know if it's because uh, I had a, had a hefty Hobbit lunch, and maybe that was dragging me down, or maybe the tunes weren't kicking too much. So anyway, uh, I left this off. I started this uh, mission. This is the introductory mission to Elder Slade. And I'm curious to see. I can't. Okay, cool. So I started this and then I don't remember. I had to quit for some reason. I don't quite remember if I got disconnected or uh, if I had something pop up. But I didn't get to finish. Okay, she's over there. So we're restarting. Let me take this dude out. Oh, bother. This is not good. The bad. We're off to a bad start. So the thing about this is they uh, the twist, as you can see, is reinforcements. So they've already called their buddies, and these are not going super well right off the right from the jump here. But that's going to be okay. They're healing each other. What? What a mess. Stop it. You sit down. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, uh, going from the my main high elf champion. Yeah, I'm playing an elf. Deal with it. Uh, to my main burglar on Landraval trying to wrap up this good to bad content was rough because uh, I was so um, in the zone. Goodness gracious, why are there so many bad guys? Leave me alone. There were so many uh, things that I just couldn't do that I like was naturally used to doing. Just running in and bashing stuff and not really having to think too much about it, especially going yellow line. It's so very nice. Um, so now with the burglar, you gotta apply some finesse, which is kind of annoying. 
because I found that I really enjoy just going in and bashing stuff. Uh, my other one of the other mains I invested a lot of time in is uh, a Bjorning. Hold on, we gotta talk to Osma. So in case uh, you have not done this before, essentially what this mission does, besides introducing you to the concept of missions, it introduces you to the um, overall story for Elder Slade. In this case, the orc warlord uh, Gorgar uh, is kind of in charge of the orcs of Gundabad, and they're going to go after uh, the, the good guys, the dwarves in this case. And then, of course, the Frost Horde and the Frostbound... Um, Hobgoblins are involved in the Angmarim and the Dowerhands are all in the mix. So it's quite a, a an interesting stew of events happening around Elder Slade. And this just kind of gets us introduced to what's going on. It also introduces us to Ausma. I don't remember if we meet her in Mordor when you are first uh, come into contact with the Stout Axes. But she is... So, let me preface this. The dev team... Standing Stone Games and Turbine before it, and Warner Brothers and whoever else took care of this game. I've done a really good job. Honestly, I think it's the best job of any um, adaptation, in my humble opinion, of um, making the making a Lord of the Rings game specifically, but any any piece of content uh, their own uh, without messing it up. I really love. Uh, the One Ring tabletop role-playing game. I think they did a great job too. But in terms of longevity and creativity, while within, while still coloring in the lines, so to speak, that were set by the books, I really think Lotro does the best job. That's just me though. As such, they've created a lot of memorable characters that I think have only gotten better over the years. I think, um, especially with the Black Book on into the long, the what is it, the Trial of Durin's Folk, whatever this epic line is called. Um, the Legacy of Durance Folk. I think they've done a great job of creating characters that are fun and interesting and, again, still stay within the context of the, the texts. Uh, the Rangers, you know, like, they did a good job of making the Rangers from the original storyline fun and interesting. But for me, Ausma is the coolest. Uh, I don't know if it's because she's a sneaky dwarf or because I'm just, uh, you know... I, I, I write on the side and I publish self-publish a fantasy novel and there is... Uh, a, a dwarf woman um, spy, so maybe that's why I like her so much, but especially when you get into Gundabad, you do some adventures with her, and they just made a very cool, uh, interesting character out of here, out of her. I think also getting away from the um, the strictures, or the, the confines of the Longbeards, when they introduced the Stout Axes, and then the Jelruka, and some of the other dwarfs that they've, dwarf houses that they've introduced, um, especially in the Blood of Azog update, I think it gave them a little bit more space to work with. So having a snarky, sneaky dwarf woman is uh, super cool to me. Being caught. Cheese it! The other thing that's cool in the Gundabad storyline is that she has these uh, apprentices training with her, and you get into some antics with them, and it's very fun. That's really what this game has. Like mechanically, it's never going to be, uh, it's never going to blow anybody's mind. And people like to complain about the itemization. I'm not deep into it enough to know about that kind of thing. Um, but creating stories and characters is what this team, I think, excels at. Alright, so I'm not going to be able to take these guys out quick enough to stop them from summoning some buddies. But that's going to be okay. You need to stop trying to heal people. Let's try some positional damage. One thing I'm thinking about too, uh, besides what it means to level somebody using missions. Yeah, don't underestimate a stout axe. Is also what to do with the star, the stout axe rogue or burglar, excuse me. Ooh, uh, because you know, knives. Even though hobbits get the the club mace um, bonus, everybody uses daggers. So even though stout axes can use axes, I don't know if it's any better. I think the uh, like right now I've got this tempered steel dagger of might. 
which gives you the auto attack crit, which isn't super great. And then this axe gives me an agility boost. So I don't know. I think uh, the two main stats you got to work on with a burglar tend to be crit and physical mastery. And I think agility contributes to, and might contribute to, uh, oh yeah, so with the burglar, agility contributes to physical mastery. So we got to focus on that. So I don't know that there's an inherent bonus uh, to the dagger. That 1% auto attack doesn't sound that good to me. Um, whereas, yeah, I got to work on my traits. Whereas the, um, like, I don't know if this axe bonus makes a difference. 5%, 1% damage, 5%. Because you do get a, I think you do get a dagger's bonus with the burglar too. So anyway, the good news is, as, as I've done here, it doesn't really matter what you do. Because if you're like me and you just enjoy the, um, cosmeticals. You can just equip whatever. So I've got these cool axes, even though uh, I've got a dagger equipped. So ultimately, it doesn't matter. All right, mission accomplished. One interesting twist that we talked about last time is how somebody always comes to pick you up before the uh, the end of each mission, and they always bring you a chest of goodies. And I think last time, yeah, yeah, Gorga, we're good. Just stop talking, bud. He's still talking. Anyways, uh, and one good thing about that is that. Um, It's just fun. Like I kind of our, our assumption was that you know people just like that hit of adrenaline of not knowing what's in there. I got to tidy up my inventory, but I'm not going to make you suffer through that. Black steel key. Do I have a black? Oh, I do like black steel keys though. All right, never mind. We got to focus on the mission at hand. We're going to crack on here. So much to do because I'm just thinking now about all the trait points I need to earn and things like that, which we'll get a bunch as we level up. But there's also plenty to be earned outside of it. Like even the freebie for the wedding, I think is pretty much always available. Anyway, we're gonna focus on the missions though. This is, I can do that stuff off there. It's a lengthy siege, yes. Let's do some missions. So first of all, we gotta make sure you get the meta. March on good to bad, more effort missions for a cause. This is a weekly, I think. Uh, March on good to bad missions for the cause. So this is another weekly. Oh yeah, you only got to complete three. These different tiers. It's very much like the festival. Speaking of which, the festival's ending tomorrow, so don't forget to check that out. All right, what shall we do? What shall we do? Let's do. We'll stick with uh, Ausma. We'll do all of hers first and see how. See if I'm feeling too burnt out after this. All right, we seek to repair the Hathodiant in the Vales of Anduin. Sure, we'll clear out some burrowers. I'm surprised they're not clearing out burrowers right now. Do it. I don't look at that twist. Ooh. I saw the words never ending, which is a little bit frightening. Um, other fun quirk about Treebeard is that because they've only opened up through Moria, you get these restricted area warnings when you go into an area that they've not yet opened. So we got all of Area Door and they're about to pop Moria. They've opened these other areas for missions, but Here's the fun part. If I use my high elf racial travel to head to Lothlorien, they kick me out. So Bjornings can go to their house. High elves cannot go to Karas Galfon. I don't know why that is. Maybe there were too many like vendors and stuff to turn off. And so they uh, didn't want to do it. It's not a big deal. It'll open up. I assume it will open up with Moria. All right, close up the burrows and kill them all. So I'm, what I'm trying to do now, being a low-level burglar isn't the most fun. It's not as fun as I remember it being. So I'm trying to utilize as many of the different skills I have to put some trickery on these guys. What that means is lots of stunning. Uh, because I've got... Riddle, Riddle is a, a daze rather than a stun. Uh, but I've got the stun dust and then I've got um, exploit opening. Which triggers a fellowship maneuver, which is obviously not very useful, but it does have a five second stun, I think. So, anyway, he's better go. And clearly, I'm not having a problem putting out any damage. The thing about burglars, again, I was talking about how it took a bit of, of adjusting my thinking, going back to my main uh, burglar on Landreval, is. Um, Champs are always ready for a fight. There's no subtlety. You can't sneak around. 
You can't mez the way uh, a burglar can, obviously. Um, but you're always ready. Cooldowns are pretty low. You have tons of AoE because I like playing yellow. And your heavy armor means you can take a bit of a beating before you have to ta tag out. Um, burglar, you gotta think a lot. <laughs> you gotta think a lot more. And uh, that's not. Sometimes I, I just don't want to do that on my video. I want to kick back. I want to relax. Put on some music, maybe a nice podcast, and just uh, murder a few hundred orcs. So, thinking about, okay, how do I get back to stealth? Okay, when you reach a certain level, you get a skill as a red burglar called Coup de Gras, which if you uh, defeat your target with it, it drops you into stealth. So I'm thinking, all right, how can I use that so I get the stealth, so I can get the crit bonus for my next attack, and then and yada, yada, yada. How do I, um, oh, here we got a nice view. Uh, what stuns do I use because I'm getting my, my booty kicked here so on and so forth and it just isn't super It's fun. It's tactical, but it's not very relaxing All right, we're gonna pause and take in the view here. We're not doing it beneath your feet, but this is basically what it is We're looking northwards into the veils just over that hill is Bjorn's house And then you can kind of see Mirkwood past there enough of that stay on target complete the mission So much balking. So we got, we just need two more stones, which I'm gonna guess are on the other side of the bridge. We cannot mount up. We forgot, oh, pretty crabby. We need my crab. 99.9% .9 sure there are no nodes for wood or ore in missions, but I would just wanna make sure. Cause I'm dying, I'm dying for, for materials. My wonderful kinship, not so hasty, has been very generous. They don't seem to care when I raid uh, the kin chest for all the goodies. But um, I still am in dire need. And I like to give back if I can. Doing a great job there, Krabby. Looking good, buddy. Getting some performance issues. Might have to dial down the effects. Zoinks. Give him one of these. One of these. And there you go. Last one. Close to background stuff, so this will hopefully work a little better. Don't really need to be on Discord right now. Free up some space. Okay. All right, mission done. Where's our Where's our our escort? Hello, buddy. A long way to walk but it gives us a nice view of the great river check out the beneath your feet on the great river for more on this there he is it took you so long and where's my where's my chest is there a chest no i'm just confused let me run over here real quick make sure there's not a reward chest hmm. all right i stand corrected we don't get a chest every single time Maybe that's uh, an Elder Slade thing. Maybe that's uh, a new update I was not made aware of. Okay, so that's two without chests. Very interesting. All right, buddy, let's go. Okay, good. I was, <laughs> I was afraid I was going to have to do a walk all the way back. Thank you. Love the moats. Might be a bit late on the moats, though. See, there you go. 80. There's 80 of them. Oh, my goodness. And they rotate. But luckily, there are smart people out there who make guys for this type of thing. All right, let's go and defeat some orc scouts on the Gralinvarth. Reinforcements twist. Okay, okay. We, just, we also determined last time that um, the 
twists are static. So they're, each mission has the same twist each time. It's not random. How did I claim it? No. I think a flag's about to pop up. It's the other weird uh, quirk for these is that um, we get some major load uh, lag, I guess, with these. Which is why I'm kind of trying to pause. All right. So there's the flag. Okay, that's what we were counting on. The Fort of Grayland. Yeah, yeah. We'll claim a Fort of Grayland, no problem. Where is it? Across the water? Yeah, we got that. Hmm. What do I drop there? Oh, I got Numlock on. Derp often play with the keyboard and I think it's time for me to be a real grown up and buy a keyboard with the pad mouse or trackball attached so I don't have to switch my hands around ultimate gaming because I've tried different ways I have a controller that I like and I've got working rather well with um, Lotro but it is less than ideal so for you know doing a festival or if you're just running around um, questing or something or low level questing or doing crafts something like that it's fun and it feels good uh, tactily using a controller, but um, for any kind of serious play, which includes on level questing, it does not cut it. Go away. I will say, playing this guy has got me back using uh, Purge Corruption. Uh, because besides debuffing the enemies by removing their corruptions, it's also a nice little hit of damage if uh, my rotation's on cooldown. I'm trying to remember to use all my skills here. Still running red line. It's tempting to go to blue because, uh, honestly, it's just fun and more interesting. And you get a lot more self-heals, and it's very survivable. But really, I think for this mission... Um, experiment. It's best to stay with a red just to do these, knock these out as quickly as possible. Because that is the one thing I've found I don't like about this at this point is that it, it feels a lot more grindy uh, than landscape questing. Elder Slade might change that up because we're going to be looking at more locales, more in different locales. Uh, but especially in... Um, Grell and Barth is up. Especially doing... Um, come on, Brain. Oh, the there's all these quests in the Dimril Dale. All these missions in the Dimril Dale for the for the Erebor hub. It got real boring. Uh, so, you know, we're not doing anything that's terribly different from landscape questing. But it... Uh, when it's the same location over and over again, it gets a little dull. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good New Year's Day. Hope you're getting in some game time and chilling out, especially if you got the day off. I mean, it's Saturday, so hopefully, even if you're working on Saturdays normally, hopefully you got the day off and you're getting to chill out. Let's take in the view here before we go on and finish our mission. Yes. Mm-mm. We can see, um, what is that called? Framsburg down there over the waterfalls. Love it. And then, of course, Mount Gundabad. Oh, I'm being beat up. I didn't even know it. Oh, no. I'm, oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? I'm such a dwarf. I'm busy staring at mountains instead of fighting bad guys. Go away. No problem. Da da. Mission complete. Very good. All right. Do we have a chest this time? I'm getting real concerned here, friends, because. It's throwing me for a loop. I'm going to have to do some research after this. Because I really thought I was getting a chest. And as critical as I was of that, uh, last time we did this, I, I've grown to expect the chest, and I must have it. It's going to be okay. Done, boss. Thank you. Let's finish up this. And let's see. What is the... All right, so three will complete our daily mission meta. Sounds pretty good to me. 
Yeah, so then the four titles are the Misty Mountains. So kids will kala. Yeah, let's get them. Oh, uh, okay. Raging monsters in this mission will enrage at low morale and gaining. Yeah, that's fine. They don't stand a chance. I also like this area quite a lot. Ooh, we're inside. Never mind. I like the outside of this area. Don't be afraid, Krabby. We'll be all right. Ew, dower hands. Pick your pocket. And bye-bye. Oof. No problem. Ooh, that's a pretty looking chest. I plugged this on Tuesday on Lotro stream. If you're not on Reddit, I highly recommend you pop over to the Lotro subreddit and find the texture of the day. I don't, again, I apologize. I didn't look up the name of the user who's posting these, but they are doing a great job of highlighting some of the beautiful textures here in this game, which I'm going to try to do here as well. Look at this. It's just a dumb little crate that is like just part of this throwaway side quest for a mission, but the detail on it is so cool. So sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses. Kids will kala. Picky pocket. We're going to put the marker, the debuff on him. Just to see if it makes a difference. Usually I don't do that. Even on my main, uh, I've noticed getting into the higher level stuff with good to bad that it's taking me a little longer to kill the baddies than I normally appre appreciate or normally want to do. I don't know if it's because like, I haven't been upgrading my ally properly or whatever. Um, but I normally don't do that debuff. What is it? Reveal weakness? Yeah, I normally don't do reveal weakness just because the fights tend to go super quick, especially when you are uh, on the red line. But, you know, my super quick sneak is not unlocked yet on this guy, so it's probably okay. I think I got spare time. Check the log. Am I actually getting anything, from the, anything good from these pickpockets? These barglers. What did I get? Ouch. Actually, pay attention this time. The logs the bar. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's see. That's weird. It's not logging my blur, my burgle. So either it's not working. I don't know because I've got my loot turned on. Anyways, let's just wrap this up here. Go away. If you are an old school player, you remember that they it wasn't until a few years into the game that they properly updated the dower hand models. So it's nice that they have their own look now, even if they are quite slimy. They all kind of look like uh, just like dudes that had a rough time at the Five Finger Death Punch show. They're just living their lives, man. How are we doing, pretty crabby? Can't even click on my pet. Must be us. Must be doing it wrong. Full disclosure, burgling is not is the most underutilized skill in the game. I'm not gonna lie. Completely underutilized. Because here's the thing, even if it I don't think it it would not break the game if I could burgle a quest item from an NPC. I'm just saying, if I if I have the patience to needle my way through and pick the pocket of some boss NPC. I think, I think I should get credit for that. You know. You're just kicking a pile of junk, man. What are you doing? Uh, so we can't burgle anything useful. Occasionally, you know, if you, you can only pretty much only burgle humanoid mobs. Uh, so you can sometimes get, like, recipes and drops and things like that. Um, if you play Gambler, the blue line, you can... De oh, so you can't sneak in front of somebody. You can get... Uh, what is it called? So a certain debuff is applied when you blurgle. But um, all intents and purposes, Burgle is pretty useless, which is a shame because I, you know, I like playing Burglar because I want to Burgle. I want to be a little Bilbo. So I always felt that I should be able to um, do something meaningful when I Burgle. 
whether that even uh you know they could make it sort of a top tier let's say like on the burglar make it a top tier ability to unlock that you can loot chests and uh, quest items without breaking stealth that would be so cool uh, i don't think it would be broken because 90 percent of the quests involve combat anyway so if like 10 one out of 10 quests i get to cheat a little bit as a burglar and pilfer an item i think that would be super fun that's just me though let's go all right so this is our three out of three we're going to turn in this meta deed and see what kind of goodies we get I think it was just moats and Gabilaka marks. Look at ZZ Top over here. Rest in peace. Yep. No deed. Let's finish this one. All right. So the cooldown on this bad boy is. Oh, okay. So this is a daily. Makes sense. It's only three missions. Okay. We did Ausma. Let's see. This guy's got a lot. No, it's not that lot. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight per day. Eight per day. I don't know. We'll finish the weekly anyway. And I think that'll be enough for today. Going to the storm wall. I think I've done this one on my other blargler. Shared corruption. Monsters in this mission will apply. Okay, they'll buff each other. No problem. Storm wall is, of course, in the Grey Mountains. If you've never done the Grey Mountains region, it's quite nice. Light's so bright. If you guys look at my armpit for a second. Much better. The storm wall. What do we got to do? Survey the storm wall. I don't know what that means. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Okay, I see red dots. That means it's loaded properly. Okay. Survey spot. Couldn't be more obvious. Who am I surveying? Oh. Ooh. We're going to fight him for the XP because, after all, this is the Treebeard Servor. And so. I want to make sure I'm getting as much XP as I can. I was hoping to level up today. Oh, it's all this, these little blog. What are they called? Crumb blog. Oh, no. What are they doing? Oh, they're buffing each other. Blog. Bog. I can't remember what they're called. But we're going to be killing a ton of them in Moria next week. Yeah. The sort of the subterranean meeker breakers. Right, so that's one. Try not to get distracted by world chat. It's another nit to pick is uh, I like everything to be smooth. So if I'm not in selecting distance of the next objective. That is suboptimal. One thing I'm also not sure of is when these reset, but like I said, these have been out for a year, so I'm sure just a teeny bit of digging will uh, turn up results. We gotta go up. How do we get up there? Stairs, of course. There's one thing to work. Oh, let's get these guys first. See, that's what I'm talking about. The cooldown is ridiculous. So my one consistent AoE has a... Oh, I must... Oh. It's only a minute cooldown. I must have used it earlier, unknowingly. So I'm going to stick and move so I don't get killed by these nerds. There we go. Get that triggered. My crash is looking uh, pretty bored. You're not related to these guys, are you, Krabby? He's not, don't worry. Sneak. Dare. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. How are we. What the. Oh, more stairs. Can I sneak through this way, though? Cannot. We're going to go down and around. Another stray thought. If you haven't noticed, which I'm. If you pay attention to this game, I'm sure you have. The new, the newer races like Bjorning, uh, High Elf, and Stout Axe, the animations are just so much better. How do I get up there? Go up and around, maybe. 
Okay, we're going to press on here. We'll find it later. Maybe it's one of those deals where they've put uh, more spots than we need. Golly. Not a major threat, these little bugs. Got him. Okay. We gotta jump up here and get it? Let's try that. Stay down there, Krabby. There we go. I also have to remember I don't have safe vault on this guy yet. I can't remember what level that unlocks. But that is singularly the most useful and the most heinous burglar skill. Um, which, as the name suggests, lets you fall a certain distance without suffering any of the uh, falling injury debuffs. Problem is, if you're like me, you're going to overestimate constantly how far that actually will get you, and you'll end up dying unnecessarily, leaping off the summit of Mount Gundabad. It's fine. Oh boy, come on. You stop. Oh, it's pure poison. Okay, very good. I just have the slow version. Once we level up, we'll get the instantaneous one. I think that's the one uh, benefit to the burglar poison cure over the hunter. Is the hunter um, always has an induction time? Even though I think I think they're the same. They remove the same level of um, poison, but I think the hunter can do the whole group if I recall correctly. One more. Ah. So this is one skill, one burglar skill. I just don't use that much. That being faint attack. Enable surprise strike from stealth. I just don't know what that means. Because it sounds to me, what I've assumed all along, all my all my time blurglarizing, is that it um, treats the that skill as if you were in stealth. So it, what, what that does is I think it gives you like a, like a much extremely high crit chance. Uh, but the wording on it is just very odd. Okay, I'm getting tore up over here. And my... Do I have any potions? I think this might be it. Oh boy, let's see if I can run away. I think, uh... This is, <laughs> this is I'm ill, you know, I meant to do this. I'm illustrating the point I was speaking to earlier. I do have safe ball, which is that, um, you gotta be extremely careful playing burglar. You have to be prepared. How close do I have to be to trigger my corruption removal? Eh, just put a knife in it. <laughs> That was bad. It's the other thing I'm with this guy. I did have one. Okay, I'm extremely unprepared in the food department. Uh, I'm food is vi a vital import uh, for combat in this game, and I'm understocked. Something I'll have to fix later. I do have a cook on the server. I'm just not keen on cooking. It's the most convoluted of all the crafting in this game. Even if it is kind of fun, you know, just to be a hobbit crafting pies. That story picked up last year about a player who leveled all the way up to one whatever just by crafting pies. So that's cool. But it's keeping up with ingredients is insane. And I don't think we have the plug-in technology to help a dope like me to organize these things properly. So for now, I shall rely on my kid, my wonderful kinmates. So this will be my... 15 out of 15 weekly. What do I get from this? Ooh, I get my Virtue XP. Uh, enhancement runes, which are not incredibly useful now. I'm going to get a character boost. Because that's what I need at this point. 
Okay, that's cool. So the virtue XP boost is bound to account. So if you were doing this on another character, you could slide it over to a character who perhaps needed it more. I could finally have three virtues. Way behind. What did I get? More virtue XP. Okay. Uh, some rep. Yeah, we're going to use that. Why not? Uh, love that. Essence Reclamation, not super useful. Can you? I think you could de, uh, disenchant those now as well. I don't know. And then, of course, a Tracery, which I can't use. And that's about it. All right, let's do... Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's just do all of these, because there's only... Was there four more? That should be okay. We'll do a few more. And then we'll call it a day. So we are in, uh, this looks like, okay, Ashmar Zarak. What do I got to do? Siege Trolls. Easy peasy. Did not look at the twist, but I have a feeling we'll find out what that is soon enough. Uh, I'm going to accept this even though I don't think I'm going to use it. Oh, it is cheap XP, and I can you can get to Trestle Bridge very swiftly now through the mission, guys. What else am I looking at here? All right, crack on. There's a Siege Troll. So, okay, so let's do this as burglariously as possible and see... Hello. That didn't work. I was going to say we could switch through... You stop. Uh, we could sneak around and see if we can just assassinate the siege trolls. I do like the XP of, you know, taking out all the mobs, but I also want to get this done because I'm getting a little twitchy. So there's another siege troll. Doesn't appear to be anybody else around. So let's get him. Go to sleep. Don't know the numbers on the positional damage yet at this level. Something I should look into. We'll let this guy go past. You turn around. Oh, he's walking right past. Uh, the other thing I can't do, which is very useful if you're a burglar, is to riddle from sneak. I can't do that yet, and I'm not entirely sure when that's going to happen. Stun dust. There we go. So that was easy. We'll try to take advantage of that. Don't know her. What's next? Reclaiming the Veil Watch. Hobgoblins, yada, yada, yada. Reinforcements. Okay, we're well familiar with that one. Here we are again in the Gray Mountains. Yes, I remember this one. So I think my plan at this point is to wait until the grass loads. No, we'll wait until we see red dots on the mini-map. Yeah, that's a pretty good indicator. Uh, plant banners. Where's the first one? Straight ahead. Get this guy out of here. Oh. But he had a shorter route than I was expecting, which is just fine. Nope, no reinforcements. Stop. Stop it. So, it should be noted that the reinforcements thing is not is on a timer. I assumed originally that it was on um, tight of their health. You find that a lot with a lot of these mobs. Is uh certain actions will trigger when they're at X percent of health. Not this one. These guys are on a timer. Where's the next one? Over there.
Yeah, that is kind of interesting. I noticed that when I do this, I don't know if it's because I feel like I have so much to do on my other characters, or if it's the nature of the missions or what, but I just kind of feel like ready to get it done. Rather than um, enjoying the process. Not that I'm not having fun. It's just different. Um, I think having the weeklies and the other meta deeds, our uh, meta quests tied to the missions kind of give it that completionist feeling. Kind of like a... Kind of like the uh, the Yule Festival. All right. Shout out, Green Eyed Gamer. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody, who's just coming in from the Green Eyed Gamer stream. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Y'all have fun over there. What was she up to today? Green Eyed Gamer's the best. So thanks, everybody, for popping in. I appreciate the raid. Um, for those of you just arriving, what I do on this series is I'm leveling on the Treebeard server with just missions. So we are... I'm officially... Only, only missions on this guy. And we're kind of experimenting, paying attention to what happens and all the different meta quests and things like that. 140 on the Rune Keeper. Awesome. Congratulations, Green Eye Gamer. That's excellent. How many 140s is that for you? Poteen, what's up? Good to see you. The Shadow of Valdel here. Draugrok. Yeah, so today, uh, last time we finished Airborne, today we're getting started in the Elder Slade missions, and it's going alright. We picked up about a level so far, playing for about an hour, and uh, it's what it is. It's fun. Anything to further the glory of the Longbeards. But I was just saying that uh, the missions do feel fairly different uh, than landscape questing. Obviously, there's kind of the rapidity of knocking one out and then starting the next. It makes it feel a little more grindy to me. Uh, so those of you who are going in hard in the paint for the Yule Festival know what I'm talking about. Greenard Gamer says she's only on her second 140, been doing a new character. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That's excellent. Well, congrats on the 140. That's a huge accomplishment because this game, there's so much content with this game. It's crazy. So getting anybody to 140 is a major achievement. Oh, we got a sneaky wargy. Come here, pup. Can't burgle a pup. We also discovered today that I don't think burgle works in the missions. That's something we shall test out more later. Hello. That guy was in a deep sleep. Could you could you tell me excuse me, sir, could you tell me where Droglock is? I have an appointment. No. Oh. Bye. Another sneaky pup. Yo, got him. Your face. There you go. <laughs> Could you direct me to the boss ward, please? It's the gigantic one with the menacing, translucent eyes. Oh, you mean him? Yeah. All right. So I think we're going to be fine. It's just a signature rather than an elite. But we're going to put 
we're going to uh, give this Wargi some weird dreams. You stay there. Although I did... Uh, we're going to stun dust. Get some position. Get him right in the position. Don't let him call reinforcements. I will never... As much as I was just complaining about the fact that certain burglar skills are underutilized, I will never not love... The, fa <laughs> the fact that uh, you get to tell someone, a warg in this case, a riddle so confounding that they just sit there like, oh, like they're, they're seriously considering this riddle that you hit them with. So much so that they won't help their friend in the fight. It's a great feeling. Yes, I have been raided hard hit. Appreciate you coming in. Watching me slice up a few wargy wargs. As we do a deep dive into the mission system of the Lord of the Rings Online. Speaking of deep dives, okay, there we go. One other fun discovery today. They don't all have treasure chests. I don't know why, but it's all right. Though, as a dwarf, I do love the Trager. All right, one more, then we're going to call it a D. Because unless I want to pop over to um, Wildwood, this is all I can do today. And I like that. I think that's kind of the plan going forward is um, finishing one area before we go on to the next. We finished Erebor last time. All right, we're going to the Skeel Keep. Skeel Keep. And the Frost Delf. Surprise attack. You may be ambushed after completing your objective. Ooh. I think we're going back to the Grey Mountains. Yes, the Steel Keep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this one. You can smell the ore a mile away. And they're giving us a little treat, since we just have to deal with these little whelps. Much quicker combat. How you doing, little Krabby? Oh, Krabby, look out! No! Never mess with the stout axes. Ooh, crush! Don't worry, buddy. Krabby's fine. Uh, I might not be, though. That's the uh, certain point you come to appreciate the mob design in this game when you realize that the stinkiest ones, the little weenies, are the most dangerous in some cases because they hit you, in this case, they hit you with that acid damage and it is so annoying and persistent. Stay out of the box. I don't know when they added those red boxes, but they are, for a ding dong like me who doesn't really know how to pay attention, it's very helpful. It's very obvious. Stay out of the red box. Stay out of the red box of death, and you'll be okay. I haven't uh, really sunk my teeth into the Gundabad uh, instances yet, but with the Menace Morgul instances, that was huge. Hugely helpful, the red boxes. The other thing about those, um, the acid damage is it's, it's anti-burglar. There's a lot of anti-burglar tricks in this game, such as the uh, damage aura that all the ghosties and drakes and stuff produce. It's very annoying. I don't know why they won't just let me sneak up on them and kill them. Two more. 
These guys don't have an aura, but that lingering acid effect is not my favorite. Oops, okay. One more. Where'd it go? Hmm. I guess we gotta go deeper into the cave. Luckily, I am a professional. Now that's a little too deep for me. Uh, I feel like we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Let's go back and see what we can see. So I'm... <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. I mentioned earlier how I like High Elves and Stout Axes and Bjornings because they have the improved um, animations. So you got to love that Matrix move that, that Stout Axe just did. Like the... uh, yeah, Poteen says it is odd to see a, a bulky burglar. But let it not... Let not my bulk deceive you. I'm very sneaky. I think it kind of makes sense. I mean, first of all, you ever play D and D or any kind of tabletop game like that? You know, Dwarf Rogue is fun. Uh, but then even you know, I feel like they're able to kind of wiggle, get some wiggle room by creating the stout axes. Because if you're used to like lurking in the depths of Moria, um, or Mordor rather, not Moria, then yeah, maybe maybe you pick up some some stealthy tricks, even if you are not quite Hobbit sized. All right, investigate the noise. Oh my lord, what is that? I have never seen this guy before. Did not see that coming. Doesn't mean we're not going to chop him. Yikes, all right. I don't know what that was. We call that, uh, make sure you read the quest text. Where were you, where were you on that one, buddy? He's just hanging out over there, gazing into the depths of the of the abyss. Yeah, the dual axes are cool. I'm trying to decide and poke around a little bit to figure out statistically what's going to get me the most. I guess as long as I'm getting agility for the fizz mast and the crit, I'll be fine. Um, but, and I don't know quite how the stout axe racial um benefit factors in i'm pretty sure burglars get a dagger bonus at a certain point so anyway i said earlier we're going to send it to the lab and let them run the numbers and figure it out for me but even if i do end up using daggers we've got these cool axes equipped so it doesn't matter it it matters not okay so there's your your secret there horn uh the secret is that i got attacked by a zombie drake yeah i agree with you all right, so what do we do today? We did nine, eight, eight missions, nine, including the introduction with Ausma. We picked up about a full level because I think I was at this point of level 23 when we started. We knocked it out in under an hour. Uh, less than that if you subtract all my chit chat here on the stream. And uh, we knocked out a few quests, a few meta quests. And we made some progress on our weekly 45 mission meta quest. Rap request, as we say sometimes. And uh, we learned a few tricks along the way. So I I'd call this a successful mission and possible. I want to thank all of you for, for tuning in and for checking me out, especially those of you who popped over from uh, the Green Eyed Gamers stream. That's very kind of you for stopping by. Uh, you, my name is Shoreless Skies Online. You can check me out on Twitter at Shoreless Skies. Uh, let's see. We're, who are we going to raid? We got to spread the love because if. Lotro is um, known for anything. It's hobbits. But if it's known for two things, it's known for also having a great community. So let's see. We're going to see what's pumping over here. And then we'll she'll say goodbye. Who is playing today? Uh, Man Bear J, let's see, who's who needs a little boosty? Alright, so we're gonna go raid Hoppa Joel. Don't know who that is. We're just gonna give him a little New Year's treat. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.
Uh-oh, got a raid error. Bye, Poteen. Good to see you. Let's try that one more time. Oh, keep getting an error. All right, well, <laughs> we did what we could, everybody. Give it one more try, and then we'll say goodbye. Trying to do the right thing here. All right, signing off now. See y'all later.